Hi everybody, Patrick here from PaintballProps.com, EngineeringShock.com, and ElectronicLessons.com. Today I'm showing off uh, an escape room version of the Betty 4.0 Paintball Time Bomb Prop. Uh, this specific unit was uh, designed for another customer who was graciously allowed for me to uh, place it in my catalog. Now let me just show you the parts and then we'll go through a few demonstrations. So this is the main processor board. It's connected to a 16 digit keypad with numbers 1 to 9, star, number sign, 0, uh, A, B, C, and D. So 16 digits. Wireless key fob, and this uh, starts the game and resets the game once the game is done. This is an external relay board that you can use to drive uh, an electromagnetic lock or an AC device such as a lamp uh, or even uh, a linear actuator. This is the uh, power key. It's mountable. It's got a nut on it. It's removable. You can just uh, remove it and plug it back in. So once you've applied power to the terminal block here, I'm using a benchtop power supply. Uh, I can provide an AC adapter to plug into the wall if you want uh, for $7. This is the wireless receiver board that's connected to the bottom of the board. This is a mod. So these are actually added to the bottom of the board with uh, solder and hot glue. This is the main timer board. This is the speaker that talk, uh, acts <clears throat> for the, to, to talk to you through the audio bytes on this chip. This is the loud siren which plugs in right here. It's removable. And uh, these are the four wire cut wires which we program. Now if you've seen the Betty 4.0, it works the same way with some extra modifications. So let's power it up and uh, uh, we'll go through a few demonstrations. So I'm going to apply power. If I were to, uh, if you were to ask for an AC adapter, I would uh, connect it. So all you need to do is plug it in. And now I'm going to turn the key to the on position. So it introduces itself. It says Betty program wire. So on the board, it's going to be hard for you to see from this position, but this is what, it's labeled W1, W2, W3, W4, and, and they all connect to the to the leftmost uh, four headers and you can pull them or you can cut them or you can add your own panel if you'd like. So wire cut is the rightmost, wire two is the second from the right, wire three is the third from the right, uh, etc. So in order to program a wire, what I need to do is I need to take my keypad and press whatever number I want, one, two, three, or four. If I press five or six, nothing happens, or C or D, nothing happens. I have to press one, two, three, and four. That'll tell us what the deactivation wire is. So I'm gonna press wire one. Now it says ready clock. Now, at this point, once the game is started, if I pull wire one, the system becomes deactivated. If I pull any of the other wires, the countdown timer starts counting down 10 times as fast. It goes, it counts down really, really fast. So, uh, one thing I'll also add is there is a uh, vibration sensor on the timer board, which can be disabled by removing this little header right here. Uh, but if you have that connected and you start shaking this device all around, it will activate the tamper, which causes the timer to go down 10 times as fast. In any case, it says ready clock, and so what I have to do is if I want to increment this digit, I tap this button. Just tap it. If I want to move on to the next digit, I press and hold. Press and hold, I'll go to the next digit, I'll press and hold, go to the next digit. So I'm going to program it to 60 minutes and 3 seconds. Press and hold. So I've programmed 60 minutes and 3 seconds. In order to start the game, I press any button on this wireless key fob, and it should work from pretty far away. And if it doesn't, if you're really far away, or you're between a lot of walls, between you and the actual prop, you can extend the antenna. But it shouldn't be necessary. I press a button, hold it for a second, and let go. System ready. Enter combination. System ready. Enter combination. So the game has started. If I enter in an incorrect combination, the time goes down 10 times as fast. Pull the wrong wire, time goes down 10 times as fast. If I've got this jumper connected, timer goes down 10 times as fast. And I'll give demonstrations of that, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that the default combination to deactivate the system is star number 11. One, one. Star number 11. One, one. System, system deactivated. Now you'll notice that the relay board has turned on. So now this switch has turned on. Now you can make it so that there's an electromagnet on this if you want and make it so that the electromagnet uh, if you have it connected to a power supply is always on until you deactivate the system and that really acts to turn it off alternately you can make the because there's three outputs um, you can make it so that something turns on when the relay is on 
There's a common pin, which is normally connected to the NC pin, normally connected or normally closed, and when the relay turns on, the common pin, CO, disconnects from the NC pin and connects to the NO pin, which is normally open. So it's a two-way switch. You can have something always powered or when the relay is off or not powered when the relay is off. It's just a toggle switch. Common, I was hoping you can still see me, connected to NC when the relay is off, connected to NO when the relay is on. So, in order to reset the game, turn the relay off, I have to press any button on the keypad, on the wireless key fob, and let go. And the system resets. Okay, so, how about <clears throat> we, uh, how about we enter in an incorrect combination, see what happens. Let's just put in five minutes. Actually, I haven't programmed in a wire yet. You don't need to uh, do it in that, in that order necessarily, but uh, let's just program in wire four. Ready clock. Ready clock. So five minutes. I already programmed in half of my clock. Start the game with my wireless key fob. Now, the speaker's a bit louder. It's not facing the camera, so hopefully you can hear it. So I'll just enter in uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so at this point, I have to enter in the right combination or pull the right wire. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to cover the siren. The siren is really loud. Now, you'll notice that that uh, red LED turned on for five seconds. During that time, you can't do anything. When that, re when that LED turns off, press and hold any button. Let go. and it resets. There's a little bit of a delay after that and the reason why when the siren goes off and the red LED turns on for five seconds and then turns off is just so that no one can tamper with it and pretend like the game hasn't been lost. The siren is going to be on for five seconds after max minimum and then at that point you can press any button, hold it for a few seconds, let go and then after a few seconds the siren will turn off. So let's do another game. Uh, it's reset and uh, it says Program wire, let's just do wire three. Ready, I'll program in 10 minutes. The timer is very easy to program. And I'll start the game. Ready. Okay, so what happens if I, if I have the jumper connected and I shake it? Oh, there we go. It's going down 10 times as fast. Hopefully you can see that. Timer looks great. It's unfortunately facing the light right now. Uh, so just to show you, just so I don't have the siren going again, I'm going to try to enter the right combination in time. Star number 1-1. One, one. System deactivated. And the relay turns on. So I'll reset the system. If the timer had run out, the siren would have turned on. This time I'm going to pull the right wire to deactivate the system. Program wire. I'm just going to pull, play, connect, uh, sorry, select wire 1. Ready clock. Let's do 10 minutes. Start the game. System ready, enter combination. System ready, enter combination. So, this is wire 1. System deactivated. System deactivated. Now, I'm going to leave that disconnected right now. This set comes with extra wire cut wires, so you can cut them or you can pluck them. Up to you. So I'm going to leave that disconnected. I'm going to leave that disconnected for a reason. I'm going to uh, reset the game. Now you'll notice that it, hasn't, it didn't say program wire, and that red LED is staying on. That's because not all of the wires are connected. I have to make sure that all of the wires, the wire cut wires, are all connected. Program wire. Program wire. So this time I'm going to pull the wrong wire. I selected uh, wire one. I'm going to select. I'm going to set this to ten minutes. Start the game. System ready. Enter combination. And I'm going to pluck the wrong wire. I plucked wire four, and it goes down ten times as fast. Now we know what happens when the time runs out. At this point, the only way to deactivate the system is to enter in the right combination. I'll reset the system. Wire 4 isn't connected, so I have to reconnect 
wire 4, and we reset. So now let me show you how to, uh, I think I've covered everything. Now I'm going to show you how to program in your own code. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn power off, press and hold keypad number 1, and I'm going to hold that while I turn it on, while I turn power on, and I'm going to continue to hold it until it says... Enter program mode. Uh, enter combination. So I'm going to enter in my custom code of just for simplicity's sake. One, two, three, A. Code programmed. Program wire. Code programmed. Program wire. So now for this game, you have to, you can do that on a per game basis. Wire one. Ready. A Thirty minute game. Let's start it. Try, let's try one, two, let's try an incorrect combination first. I'm hoping you can see it. Let's just try four, five, six, nine. Incorrect combination. Enter combination. So how about we do the new the new code? System deactivated. System deactivated. Reset the system. So that is the wireless version of the Betty. It's more for uh, escape rooms than... Uh, outdoor use primarily because uh, um, obviously it's got a lot more it, it's it's much more complicated it can be used outdoors if you have the correct batteries but uh, it is suggested that this is this unit be used primarily for escape rooms for a uh, a heist or a bomb scenario but again it's just a prop so Again, it comes with everything you see here. If you ask me, I can provide for you a um, an AC adapter for a, a wired in for a, a very small price. It comes with the key module, 16-digit keypad, relay board connect, and the wireless receiver board connected to the bottom of the board. It comes with a wireless key fob, timer, um, speaker, and siren. The speaker plugs also into the main board. The uh, the key module plugs in the main board and the siren plugs in the main board. That's all you have to do. That's all you need to plug in. I packed this unit up with everything connected except for the key key uh, module, the speaker, and the siren. All of those easily plug in. There's no polarity on the key module. There's no polarity on the speaker. And uh, the siren jack just plugs into this jack right there. So that is the Betty 4.0 wireless version for escape rooms. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at paintballprops.com or engineeringshock.com. Thanks for watching, everyone.